Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggy. This is going to be the first game of VSL Season 16 Hostile League Group C. Shaolin starting the upper left hand corner as the white Protoss. That is, so this is Monk. Bottom right hand corner, we have Advil starting as the red Terran. This is going to be on Nemesis. There is no high ground or low ground on Nemesis. Everything's equal. I don't know if Monk is a cheesy player, but there's a lot lots of opportunities for dropping units in the rear bases there's also opportunities for Terran to go for tank drops and I have not yet seen that <coughs> excuse me tank drops on kind of ridge lines especially here you can see where if a Terran establishes like a couple mines and some siege tanks it could be an uh, absolute menace at that location other side of the bracket we have ninja and I'm missing one off the top of my head but we will we'll see it uh in the next match. <laughs> Who am I missing? Shoot. That's all right. Should be a good group. This is a strong group. If I was going to predict it off the top of my head, I think I definitely could see Advil ad advancing out of this group. Supply Depot out in the front, which I would not be shocked to see a Supply Depot into Command Center attempt build or even a Command Barracks, especially on a four player map here. Looks like we are seeing Gateway first at cross position right the second and I like the decision so it looks like we are in fact seeing the the racks first it's also possible Advil will wait until he gets scouting information on his opponent to make that decision I kind of like it when players do that allow some flexibility in their builds SEV making its way top right we do see gateway assimilator to start <coughs> rather than uh gateway into nexus opposite side quick refinery grab so Looks like Advil, despite staging up towards the front here, wants to get an initial presence on the map. So wants to get that initial factory out. I'd be a little bit shocked to see Siege Tech first. I would not be surprised to see an initial quick vulture and a quick research in the mines, considering how large and wide open the middle of this map is in particular. And actually knowing that, we're seeing a, an additional gateway alongside that cybernetic score. Monk wants to get a very quick Dragoon presence. Unfortunately, Advil going to end up scouting his base last. So Monk wants to make sure he gets a lot of Dragoons, tries to pin Advil into his base defensively to maybe negate that mid-game Vulture pressure. Single SCV being left on gas after initial uh, harvest for that juicy factory out on the ground. So SV checking bottom left, going to proceed from there. Monk making his way bottom left will come across the opponent, obviously, second in second position. Going for two Dragoons before even getting range. Interestingly enough, so definitely wants to make sure that he's got sufficient defenses. We have a bunker towards the front for Advil, actually in the exterior of that initial uh, supply depot. No range as of yet, a third Dragoon produced before range can see how serious he is about maintaining this map control. Nice bit of blockade there, however, it isn't going to be sufficient. But seeing that second Dragoon is a big indicator to Advil that it is a two-gate opener. And I'm almost wondering if we're going to just see a straight-up Bulldog here. Advil dropping the command center now to follow. Two Marines in that barracks. No additional Marines have been produced. Machine shop being dropped rather than the, the quick Vulture. <clears throat> With this many Dragoons, though, this early... You have to be very, very careful with that first siege tank because a flurry of Dragoon shots from five Dragoons can just, they can very quickly wipe out siege tanks. All all probes off gas to follow as well. Very interesting build for Monk. So briefly taking the probes off gas, now putting them back on gas to get kind of an initial bolster of minerals. The probe returning to home base and the Dragoons, I guess he just wanted to get those that initial Dragoon presence to seal in Advil. That is going to give Advil a considerable economic lead, but I kind of like this play from Monk. I think it's heads up given the map. Now dropping that Nexus upon feeling a little bit more comfortable against early Vulture pressure. Siege tank being researched and a Siege tank being produced. From here, Advil is going to have the early economic lead. But I got to feel like it's a more comfortable position. And Shaolin, he's just gonna, is he going to double expand behind this? What an interesting build. So more Dragoons pushing forward. He still skipped range. Going for Citadel of a Dune behind this. 
So it might even go into DT as far as a follow-up. He's going to double expand. This is, the, this is the sort of stuff that drives Terran nuts. The Dragoon's pressing forward, wanting to pick off that siege tank, just marching into the natural expansion, have isolated that siege tank, picked it off. Working on that bunker now, Advil fleeing from the natural. He does have that turret in construction, but it's going to end up losing all of his Marines. And th the brilliance of this is, is despite all this pressure, putting Advil on the back foot, there's still double expansion behind this. Siege tank now in the main. That's going to cause Shaolin to back off. Well, never mind. He's going to just try to hug these SCV now. And this was without range. So now trying to migrate these Dragoons to the north. I like this play. Going to take out that turret, which could open up follow-up DT play. Although I don't know. Uh, he's still going to drop that Templar Archives. Working on additional supply depots, trying to get what damage he can now that he's breached here. That's putting Advil in the red. Very aggressive. <coughs> solid play, I got to say. By Monk overall. Dragoons continuing to damage what they can. Looks like the Siege Tank repositioning. The two Siege Tanks now trying to reposition and reestablish control of that natural expansion, but the second Nexus, and by second, I mean third Nexus overall, just about finished. And a another probe making its way. I'm not sure what the presence of this probe... Oh, I think he was going to try to build proxy gateways. They're already opening up these Zerg eggs to maybe allow for a follow-up Dark Templar to walk into the natural expansion. You can just see, I really like the cohesive game plan top to bottom here from Monk. So this is, compared to Gauss' uh, previous map... Oh, and he's going to seal these Dragoons out, too. So that they're interesting. So going ahead and clearing out the simulator to the north. So now only uh, Dragoons can't... Yeah, just making sure that there's nothing can travel here to the north. Making sure Advil's completely broken in. And he doesn't have to worry about watching Vultures sidling out to go ahead and sneak out. There is going to be turrets at the natural expansion. There's an engineering bay that will be able to scout the Dark Templar opening up the eggs on the opposite edge. There is a turret in the main, but there's kind of a skeleton crew otherwise for Advil, who's mostly stacking the defenses, recognizing those Dragoons were to the north, but the Dragoons have just gone ahead and exited, and they're going to go ahead and find their way out at the 9 o'clock. And Monk is in a great economic position, up a lot of workers, is on three bases, hasn't grabbed his third gas as of yet. But it already has that Stargate, has the robotics facility, all sorts of tech. He still hasn't gotten Dragoon range as far as I know. And the Dark Templar, even if it just hangs out at the natural expansion, is going to give Advil something to think about as far as map control, which makes that third even more protected. Looks like the Dark Templar are going to get wiped out, but that does announce Dark Templar presence. So Advil has to play very, very passively. The Dark Templar, in the meantime, wake, making their way through the eggs. It looks like a turret is going to be constructed to defend. But the thing is, is Monk doesn't need to dedicate with these Dark Templar. These can just be a threatening force, which allows him to mine happily, establish the three bases, and do a quick, a very rapid transition into mid-game Arbiters. Wow. And the DTs, yeah, so they're going to go ahead and take down these simulators and box Advil into two bases and probably walk their way back out. <coughs> I like to see it. Advil going to maybe recognize that he needs to get some presence on the map going for a dropship. Let's see if this gets scouted by Monk. Dark Templar, unfortunately, on the wrong side of this assimilator, so they're going to be boxing themselves in accidentally or maybe intentionally. We will see. Mines wiping out one Dark Templar. The second Dark Templar now cleared by Mines as well. The dropship making its way to the north. This could be a way for Advil to get right back in the match. Although, there's some units to the north here. Clearing down some assimilators. Fortunately, these assimilators haven't been wiped out. This is going to be a problem, though. As now, if... Monk tries to drop, especially with that dropship out in the air, because if he drops <coughs> one vulture out, we don't have any air as of yet to help defend. So let's see if that forces a cancellation out of the north. This is also going to spot all of the tech. That has to be a shaking fist from Advil, seeing all of this. Not a lot of Dragoons on defense here at the main. This could be a way for Advil to get right back into this. Nice defense by Monk, though. 
Oh, huge splash on those probes, though, which is actually going to equalize the worker count. This is still three bases versus two, keep in mind. And it's actually important to wipe that dropship out to allow that Nexus to come online. The Arbiter is actually going to have to sidle out and provide its own defense here. The Dark Templar actually looked like it was able to sweep in and, and equalize things. <laughs> so we got three bases, a fourth on the way. Advil up on workers, but is locked at two bases versus four, so it's still an economic lead for Monk. Where's the additional fire happening? I hear the uh, additional explosions someplace, but I'm having trouble locating it. It looks like he's going to go ahead and wipe out the eggs so he can... Okay, there it is. Cannon there to help defend to the north. Advil, yeah, now walking up. And this is quite the conundrum as well, is with these, these geysers gone... Well, I need to send the probe through, or the SCV through, if he tries to grab the three o'clock with Arbiter. Are, are you kidding me? A Corsair? Is the Corsair to scout? Or to wipe out dropships? We gonna see uh, a fleet beacon and D-Web? Wondering if this is a mistake or this is showboating on Monk's part at this stage. Vulture's finally sweeping out mid-map. Looks like they're going to be able to wipe out a Dark Templar, but not get a lot else. And with all of everything else shelled up, one thing for, I will say for Monk, because he doesn't have much of an attack force outside of DTs anywhere out in the map, aside from these Protoss Dragoons to the right. Looks like he has some at his natural expansion, but that's a lot of territory to cover. Maybe this Corsair is literally just for scouting at this stage. <coughs> Interesting. It looks like that uh, it's a high ground. So there is a little bit of high ground here with that D-Web. Arbiter waiting in the wings. I don't... Okay, looks like Stasis is being recalled. The Arbiter actually going up to get scouting information instead of an OBS right here. The lack of OBS has got to be troubling for Monk, right? It is the one turnaround here. Is I We do have the robotics facility, but this observer is coming out very, very late. I'm not sure it's going to hurt him all that much, but the 3 o'clock base... So now it's got a, got a dropship and some other stuff. The Arbiter just wandering all the way into the main. I like Monk's style, I gotta say. <coughs> so getting a good look at the factory count, good look at SCV saturation. I don't know if he's gonna spot what there is there at the three o'clock, but a recall there would be devastating and it doesn't need to be a massive recall either. And if he follows it up with D-Web and D-Web's one of these turrets or both of those turrets could be a devastating follow-up. Advil grouping up Looks like he wants to make a move. He does have plus one weapons and good factory production behind this. A lot of Monk's troops scattered out on the map. He's got that pocket of Dragoons here, that pocket of Dragoons here. A Corsair, a Dark Templar out in the front, but I don't see... He's got decent upgrades. Is tacking on the gateways now, but... A little bit concerned that Advil might be able to just run him over at this stage. Advil now tacking on that third base, but you already have the late game 70 probe count across four bases. And nice observer discipline as well. Is recall being follow-up upgraded is the next question. <coughs> Arbiters are out in the map. Stasis is there, but I do not see recall. Corsair returning to home base. A lot of gateways out for Monk. Has the 20 supply lead he's looking for. His upgrades are actually pretty solid. Comparatively. Those Dragoons now going to get wiped out at the 3 o'clock. Huddled there for absolutely forever. Flurry of Comsat seeing if any additional exterior bases have been grabbed. None as of yet. And I don't know that Monk feels very comfortable with his level of map control at this stage to follow it up. Starting to clear mines where he can and also taking down some uh, additional simulators so he doesn't have to worry about that nine o'clock as much. I don't see, are we seeing a follow-up? Yeah, we do see a follow-up dropship being constructed and that could be a big X factor for Advil. I do like that Monk has really taken all advantages out here. High Templar on the wings. The Corsair not forward spotting an EMP would be massive right here. And there is energy for it. Looks like it's retreating. So no EMP, a whiff of a stasis, an okay stasis to the rear. I don't know that there's enough of an attack troop to clear the rest of this out. Good size storm, but it's over D-Matrix siege tanks. 
However, it looks like there's enough for Advil to go ahead and continue to press through. The second looks like there's a, enough to get a second stasis out there. Reinforcements moving up where I do think Monk is going to have to retreat from this position eventually if he doesn't reinforce. And it looks like he's not pushing up reinforcements. So Siege Shanks to the south, I believe, are going to be able to rescue what's left here. Although not a lot of forward detection with the lack of science vessel, the Arbiter now in a position to provide that additional support. And I take it back. Advil losing the forward attack droopings and now a big ball of units moving out. Monk with suddenly an 80 supply lead. I gotta say, this is, I think, one of the earlier games I've seen Monk play and I really am enjoying his quality of play. Again, wanting to check whether we got recall online or not. I'm hoping I didn't miss it in between. Monk has really strong positioning out on the map now. Some more vultures streaming across. They're not going to find any location where they can really assault. I'm wondering if Monk's just going to try to win it on four bases. He's got a lot of energy with those Arbiters. More High Templar taking the field. A lot of gateways to work with. Fantastic upgrades. Plus two weapons working. It looks like some SCVs being scooped up en masse. I assume to drop to the 6 o'clock location. <clears throat> so Advil can try to play economic catch-up from there. But keep in mind that just becomes recall bait in later stage of this match. I'm also curious if Monk is going to draw off the probes from his main, grab an additional base, and leave those resources for down the line. He's not at this stage grabbed additional bases. He's just remained one, one base ahead. The Zealot has managed to sneak into the 3 o'clock. SCV's exchanging there. A probe trying to make its way bottom left. It looks like encountering some resistance. The Zealot, yeah, going to be kited to Oblivion right there. So that base is going to hold. But a lot of troops moving out now for Monk. <coughs> Admiral doing a good job of at least stymieing additional base grabs. But this is the stage... Interestingly enough, I still don't think he's upgraded uh, Recall. Maybe because he feels that it is a little bit unnecessary given all the back door. Or he's dropping a pylon wall to the north. He could honestly cancel one of these pylons, filter some of his own troops through, and assault that third pretty easily because their Advil can't reinforce across that double geyser. We have a Wraith here and a Vulture, and that's it. And it would have to be dropships to ferry. Let's see if he, in fact, does that. And now, also, if you look at Vision for Advil, he's got nothing out on the map. He has no idea what's going on out there. So good job putting him his opponent in the dark as well. 200 supply, so the moves are there for Shaolin to make. Usually you got to go kill your turn opponent before they hit that uh, max supply mark or do other things. The Wraith trying to engage. But yeah, Dragoons have leaked through, and this has got to put Advil in a panic because now it's SCVs to defend themselves. You can see he's trying to drop clutter <coughs> to buy himself some time. He's going to have to ferry troops via dropship in the form of siege tanks. But the Dragoon's still able to assault from the high ground. There's still that Corsair moving out towards the natural expansion as well. A flurry of additional gateways to play guerrilla style. There from the north, the Zealot actually might be able to... Well, okay, never mind. I was going to say... Enough troops in here. You could be able to shut down this entire third. Advil is... I'm going to say it. Advil's just being outclassed all the way around in this match thus far. <coughs> and I, part of it, I feel like, is Monk's just playing the architecture of this map much better. SCVs, again, huddling up. These three Dragoons are going to fall, but not after some serious damages. Advil moving out with another group. It looks like they're going to be able to sneak out. A few of them are going to be able to sneak out through the lines. The bottom left-hand base, top right base. Both have been established. The Vulture's trying to sweep around, maybe hunt down a High Templar. Able to get one High Templar. And Force looks like a little bit of a, a reflex emergency storm. The probe's scattering from the 12 o'clock location briefly. They do need to transfer to other locations. And this is one problem for Monk where he's yeah, he needs to start mining at other locations because he's uh, basically mined out across the board otherwise, but he's got a sizable bank to work with. He's still at that 70 count, which is where you want to be at late game. However, plus three weapons out there for Advil, plus one. Otherwise. 
And again, I'm, I'm wondering if I missed the recall, but I'm still waiting for something. So right now, Monk just wanting to maybe <coughs> drop a massive amount of stasis out of the natural. As soon as Advil moves out, that's the move now. That Corsair that was built for unknown reasons, I'm wondering if that was a misclick finally happening. That Arbiter getting wiped out, a lot of this attack troop getting wiped out before really anything's happening. A quick stasis being dropped, a lot of stasis being dropped, but not a lot else. Not a lot of Psystorm being plopped down either. Some Dark Templar making their way to the north. The Sea Shanks look like they're going to be able to cope with it, but all of a sudden they plummet in Monk's supply, and it, as Advil is starting to move... Monk not in position to go ahead and swat it down and having some trouble dealing with it. So now Advil, let's see if he sweeps to the north. If he goes top right... Oh man, all the Sea Shanks gone, and now the, the Dark Templar might be able to make their way to the 3 o'clock and wreak havoc there. Probe scattering. Yeah, losing that period of mining also hurt as well. You can see these bases have basically been mined out. It was a later take at a critical moment. 6 o'clock base going up. Monk quickly... Should have a, a reset, though, as soon as he, those workers get reestablished <coughs> at their various locations. But this is a scary army now. Moving out on the map for Advil. And Monk's done fantastic up to this stage, but is he going to be able to stop the massive Terran mech move out with those considerable upgrades? Granted, the upgrades are not bad for Monk either. Right now, a scattered attack force. The DTs have managed to scoop into the 3 o'clock. Forcing a lift off there. The turrets are gone. So I think Advil, if he wants to win it, he's going to have to do it with the ground forces he's got. Monk charging. It looks like mostly an A move. Does have some High Templar in these shuttles. These side storms could be absolutely critical. Bunched up troops that look like side storm bait, but does the shuttle... No, loses all the High Templar. So Monk having some trouble here. Well, I would say he's having some trouble, but he shut down Advil's mining. Up to this stage. He's had great tactics thus far. But I'm a little... Advil out of resources. Exact zero right now, by the way. So at 121 supply, that's what he has to work with. However, making his way top right, Archon's being morphed. <coughs> Some Zealots grouping up. Looks like Monk doesn't have enough to defend potentially top right. He has a handful of Zealots. Some Dragoons coming from bottom left as well. Archon finally moving out without Arbiter support. This is a lot of Siege Shanks as well. Now charging. Do we have Psystorm over the high ground? These are troops that Advil cannot afford to lose. Especially because he's still sitting at zero, and I haven't seen that number move as of yet. Trying to distance mine now at that three o'clock. Nice D-Matrix on that forward Siege Shank. Some troops going to sweep across, cut off reinforcements, and maybe try to clear out from the rear, some more reinforcements moving up, and I think with this, despite this number of seed shanks and losing this nexus, Monk may have done it. Particularly because this is just limping resources in at this stage. Another dropship with SCVs, yeah, gonna try to distance mine right there. An SCV giving its life to try to blockade at the forward location. Some splash clearing out seed shanks there, but now the big ball of the rest of Monk's army starting to careen forward. They're fully upgraded. There's GG from Advil. Great play from Monk to move to the winner's match, and I'm excited to see him play from here on out. Because that was fantastic, top to bottom. Good strategic play. If you guys enjoyed this match, give it a like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Appreciate all of y'all. Thanks for listening.